Today, we are gonna be talking about why sidekicks are not seen very often and do not usually work in kickboxing and Muay Thai, even though they do work in karate, taekwondo, and MMA sometimes. That is our topic of discussion today. So you've probably seen fighters like Raymond Daniels, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, people like Joe Rogan who are throwing sidekicks and they just look devastating. They're knocking people over and then you start going, well, shoot, why am I not seeing this in K1 or in Glory or other fight sports, Muay Thai at you know the big stadiums in Thailand? Why are these not popping up there? They look so good when these guys like Wonder Boy are throwing them. And the fact of the matter is, sidekicks do work. They have a place in martial arts, absolutely. But there are also other instances where they really don't work. And today we're gonna to put the focus on where they do not work and why. So if you're somebody who loves sidekicks or you want to start implementing sidekicks into your fight sport game, you can understand what the dangers are of trying to execute this kick and where you're gonna be vulnerable if you really put the emphasis on trying to execute the sidekick. So the first thing to recognize about a true sidekick, and bear in mind, we have a Thai sidekick, but for a true sidekick, if I'm kicking towards the screen and I want to execute correctly, I have to take my body and I have to chamber sideways so I can get my heel as high as my foot. If I don't do that, if I try to throw my sidekick with my chest square, I'm gonna be hindering the power of the kick. So, a lot of times we won't see the guys who throw sidekicks standing square on. We'll see them in this position so that they can execute the sidekick really fast without having to make that transition. They're already here. Now all that has to happen is lift and execute as opposed to here, up, and then throw. So once you recognize that that is an essential part of most people's sidekick game, you start going, okay, what are the dangers of standing sideways? And obviously for kickboxing or Muay Thai where low kicks are such an integral part of the game, we go, oh, this lead leg. When I'm in my fighting stance, how am I gonna check the low kick if somebody starts slamming in towards my hamstring? If they kick this direction, I just lift and I check. But this way, it's very hard for me to get my leg up in time. So dealing with the low kick is a massive issue if you're going heavy on the sidekicks. It's one of the reasons that we saw guys like Raymond Daniels struggle against Joseph Valtellini because it was sort of sidekick versus low kick and the low kick came out on top in that instance. The next thing to bear in mind is your guard. When you go into a traditional sort of stance, you're able to post both hands up on either side of your head and protect yourself. But when I go to my side stance, it's very awkward to pull this hand to this side. So I end up using one hand down the middle and one right here. But this means that if somebody comes with heavy attacking hands, I cannot very well protect my head. I have to try and stop them at length or I have to spend my time moving and running for most of the fight as they attack me with hands. So the people who are successful with the sidekick, very often they'll be bouncing, they'll be moving around and they control the distance with their footwork and don't rely so much on the hands as defense. We do sometimes see people who are heavy on the sidekicks get KO'd by hands because they're not good at this style of defense. They've become very accustomed to the longer. So what happens usually is we will not see somebody who fights from this stance want to turn sideways and compromise their defense. So, you know, against somebody, let's say in K1, it'd be very, very unlikely to see them execute a lot of sidekicks. Low kicks become an issue, defense becomes an issue, and in addition, the next concern is how do I block a good round kick? Because if you have somebody in front of you and they're slamming in big round kicks, and normally when you're square, you would block them like so, but now you're in this position, now you've exposed your entire back. And technically people are not supposed to kick you in the back, but if you put yourself out of position, it seems like the refs let it happen. And from here, 
If you don't have good enough footwork or you're a little slow and somebody comes and slams a kick into your back, all you can really do is block with one arm. And then you're compromising this arm as well, which is quite dangerous. Absolutely reaching with one arm to block a big round kick with a shin coming to your forearm could end up being a bad situation for this limb right here. Now, overall, this episode is not saying that side kicks do not work and you should never throw them, but it's going, okay, here's the time to throw the side kicks. You can execute in something like MMA where you're worried about the takedowns and maybe you're in more of a sideward stance to make sure that you're you know, compromising for the smaller gloves and the takedown threat, and now a sidekick really starts to work. You can obviously utilize them in Taekwondo and very often in Karate because the guys who are your opponents are not hand heavy. But if you start getting into kickboxing, where people have very good boxing strikes, or you get into Muay Thai where people are gonna be blasting your back or your leg if you go sideways, now you have to start looking going, hmm, Maybe sidekicks really don't work in this sport, and that is the reason that so few people can successfully execute this technique against high-level opponents. So I am not saying abandon the sidekick completely, but I just want everybody out there understanding the threat of the sidekick defensively and making sure that if you decide you're going to try and utilize this in your game, you understand what the areas of concern are. For myself, my sidekick off my strong leg. So I used to fight like this. And this used to be my go-to technique. It was pretty much the only thing I utilized to control the range and distance before going to my back fist. This is talking about point fighting style. And then as soon as I got to kickboxing, I went, you know, I gotta remove this technique. It does not really work the same way it used to. And I need to adapt and evolve to, to a, just a more dangerous fight style. And in addition, a lot of people who throw sidekicks are not big KO artists comboing with their hands. They more, you know, land the sidekick, land the sidekick, maybe come with single head kicks, throw some spinning kicks, and then have the really fast, crisp single punches. So if that's your style, then maybe you can make this work. If that's not your style and you're somebody who's more reliant on strong boxing, then sidekicks are not gonna work, they're not for you, and you can just let them go as I have throughout my career. I have thrown them once or twice now in terms of my whole kickboxing career and a little bit of MMA, moved into karate recently. The one thing you can bear in mind though, the one technique that does work that is you know, sort of an offshoot of the sidekick is the spinning sidekick. This is a very effective, dangerous technique where you can still stand your ground, you can still block everything, you can still execute high level kickboxing and then spin and come into that sidekick and still be very dangerous with it. So I would say sidekicks, kickboxing, Muay Thai don't work. Spinning sidekicks, very dangerous, very effective, continue to train them. I hope this helps clear up for some people out there who've been requesting videos on sidekicks, asking why we just don't see them in kickboxing and Muay Thai as much. I hope this answers all those questions and just allows you to make those decisions if you want to keep working towards this technique or if you just wanna get rid of it and start putting your focus somewhere else. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel, get subscribed. As always guys, train hard and I will see you back here soon for another episode.